Wadaya. Wadaya. I'm a tired out of bumbo clock now. Sorry for the language. But we're tired. We're tired right now. Big one thing. Bruno Fernandez, no good. Bruno Fernandez, this. Bruno Fernandez, that. So we're going to address them issue. Me and the general, King Beach, we're there. You don't know where I see them. We're not hiding where I support. We represent. We're not hiding. Mm -hmm. Manchester United, we think. See them? No, no you know just do. We get. How you just do? You know, you just. How would you do the, the, the point for the word? I remember word that they touch his crest around. Right? That's it. <laughs> It's a try it's camera, right. that's why I'm on. So go by the other side. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Big up. So what do you have to talk about Bruno Fernandez? Manchester United's captain. This man came to the came to the club. The see January of 2020. January of 2020. We're now March of 2023. So just over three years he's been at the club. 107 appearances. Three as a sub. Three as a substitute. 41 goals for Manchester United. Bruno and, Fernandez. And I, don't, and I don't think he ever miss a game either. If he miss a game, I rest the rest of my Yeah, but he tries. He's never injured. Bruno, Bruno Fernandez has played more than 98%. More than 98% of Manchester United's games. He's what, played what? 100% of our games this season. I can't recall a game where Bruno was bench this season. No, I'm going to play every game this season. Make sure about that. I every single play, game. All right. I will play 26 games in the league. Right? We'll play yeah. at least at least six games of, well, no. Eight games already in the Europa League. So that's a 34. Yeah. And plus the, the, the Carabao Cup. The Carabao Cup was six games to reach a final. Five or six games to reach a final. Well, six or five games. That's just six six games. We'll play Nottingham Paris twice. So maybe another four on top of that. I look on 38. Zin? Yeah. FA Cup. We just played our, our was it the first FA Cup two, game? Oh, we played two rounds of play already. Alright. So about 40 games a man played for Man United already. Yeah. And the season, season. And I was just over halfway. I don't know how to talk about Bruno Fernandez. No, I'm going to be honest with you. Not be real. Zin? I think he's a bit too emotional. Sometimes he may react a bit emotionally. A lot of the times I can get unnecessary yellow cards. For me, for this set. You understand? And yep. sometimes it never be really there. All on the beach. It never be really there. Sometimes it's frustrating. You know what I mean? But the Bruno Fernandez hit has got to stop. He's our captain, Manchester United fans. A time now. Zane, we were under Oli. Misery. Mourinho, misery. Well, a part of only misery. misery. Wow. If we finally have a good coach and we look like we have a good team, and the man I'm going like, to want to argue about foolishness, and I hear that. Anyways, BJ, sorry, I cut you off right now. Yeah, man. No, we, we're not, we're not thinking fans don't really argue. It's more like a media narrative that's said. It's not the fans. We're not really hearing enough fans that said Bruno is not a good captain or Bruno is this. It's more the media that try to set a narrative against the player. But we know, we, you know, we know. You know, you know, we're not starting for the media narrative already. Right? Fox. I, I mean, man, you, brother. I'm on you, so they're going to always come with some kind of narrative. Exactly, because the hate for the club is, is very used. A lot of fans of the hate the club because yeah. they've been dominating for so long. Them say we are suffer. Them happy to say we are suffer. Happy. Now, them see the things that the good times like it's coming back. Them, them actually more worried, so they might try to find something to talk about because it's been all positive. So. Fox. They might try to build this narrative against Bruno, but it's just a fake narrative, man. Fox, uh, uh, what we are here to apparently, FSG has made it clear that they're not selling Liverpool. Liverpool is not for sale. Yeah, I hear that. Very report as well. No nah, lie. FSG can steal Liverpool as long as they don't want. Because I'm not going to lie, when we hear the links, uh, some, I was in Saudi Arabia, why the Middle Eastern? Um, country them didn't really want to buy Liverpool, they didn't worry, brother. <laughs> if man you get the Qatar, one of them may not care. Because we can't compete with them. But Regardless until we can't know, compete. Huh? Regardless if we get the owner or not, we can't compete. You sure that? I don't think we can't compete if we keep the Glazers or if we keep owners who are just a free money. 
Because we don't have the money can buy the ball of them. As much as we have so, a good coach, so. you see, we have a good coach, but at the end of the day, you're going to still need to bring in. We've seen where the, where we needed players, bro, and the Glazers yeah, them never buy. But things yeah. that, but think when I promise the money, we're not, we're not sell players we're not. Like we, we players them either they can't have run out and then go be free. We mm. only get money from players see it. Mm. Very true. And I think maybe that will change. That will, especially after his first season, that will change on the thing. Uh, I hope so. Yeah. So me, me think money should be there next season for sure. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna go back to Bruno Fernandez. We are all happy with Bruno Fernandez being our captain. We have issues with him. Some man feel like he's not consistent enough. Man like me feel like him too emotional sometimes. You have some man feel like he's really not a leader. You see me? Some man feel like that. You know how man want to get to Casemiro or Veran. And we can understand. But Bruno is captain. Bruno is passionate. Bruno is dependable. See? And I'd say at least 75% of at the, at the time, you're going to get a good game out of Bruno. Now, does he frustrate yeah. people? Of course. He pass them sometimes. You can't, you, it's very obvious that Bruno is not always easy on the eye to watch yeah you take more you take some unnecessary risks sometimes mm -hmm. but that's what that's what made Bruno Fernandes Bruno Fernandes that's so what makes him yeah yeah and, exactly. and even though I'm here complaining because I don't want to sound like a hypocrite I'm here complaining about his him being a bit too emotional on the field but a lot of the times that work out in our favor and I don't know if you remember you remember the Arsenal game when Arsenal is score first against me uh, yeah. When Odegaard depart, Odegaard did fall, Ericsson. Oh, yeah, and I mean, Var, 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 Var did not take him back regardless. Var probably did not take him back, but I think a lot of, a big reason behind why Var took that, 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 that um, goal back was because Bruno was immediately yeah, in the yeah. referee's ears. Yes, and he was yeah, pointing sure. about issues and saying, yo, look at this, look, look, look. And I think that the words in Bruno Fernandez that Bruno Fernandez planted in the referee's mind changed his mind. Because if yeah. you're being completely honest, VAR, you know, we can't true trust VAR. <laughs> so, VAR, VAR shaky. VAR shaky, VAR shaky. You see me? So, Bruno Fernandez has been here now. Bruno Fernandez has been here three and a half seasons. Give me your, give me your, if you have a rating for a scale of one to ten. Overall, what would you give? I like Bruno uh, seven still. Solid seven. I, I would even Solid give seven. seven because he won a trophy. You, you know why I'm going to give him a seven? All right. My reason for that give Bruno a seven. Um, there are certain things that Bruno gave him in the like. Like, I think he kind of gave him back too much. Even though, as I said before, he, he tried a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And he get it. He going to lose the ball because that person tried try things. But that, that's where I, I give him a knock for that. He was a point for me for that. You see, for me, take care of the ball you see, for me, with it, with it giving away the ball thing, and the only yeah. the costing. One, I have to be honest, I don't think he's doing it not even as close as much as he did it under Oli, under Ten Hag. He doesn't do it as and much. To, and, to be, and to be honest, you know, don't say Bruno give away the ball. You shouldn't say that either. Cause that, that, that's kind of a bad statement. Bruno generally play more slack when we play smaller teams. Yes. When we play the, when we play the top teams, Bruno and in game. So yes, I think it's more like a concentration issue with him. That but is what over the last three, but over the last three years, that's the only issue with Bruno. I have no problems with him complaining to referees as a captain. He's been really superb. If you check his stats, I just you actually read the numbers already. So his numbers is superb. So I don't really have no issues. As I said before, it's just a media narrative. And I'm not following that narrative. Yeah. It's even a giving away the ball thing. It's an issue, but it's not a huge issue for me, especially if Ten Hag is not complaining about it. Ten Hag yeah, is yeah. very, very big on position. Zin and very, very big on a, a structure. I think True. if Bruno Fernandez was not pleasing Ten Hag, especially, remember between our brother, we did have Ericsson at the team. Ericsson yeah. was fit. Ericsson only recently got injured about two months ago. Ericsson was True. fit, and Ericsson could have played number 10 easily for Bruno. And he and, never and, and, he but, but, but But then again, he has not been playing number 10 for, for the last couple of games. I think that actually had to be frustration mm -hmm. because he's playing with a position and sometimes what what ten have one from him, I think never demand too much from him. Yes. The most dependent he must, he must, he realize he's still doing defensive work and he's still the lead the attack as well. Yes. And again, rivals chat up for the motor on the wall. This man is the most dependable player. 
in the Premier League. In terms of production, yeah, man. In terms of production and in terms of um, durability, it is crazy. Like the Manchester United has has made has earned back or made back the money already more than the money where they put in him. Of course, the investment was crazy. was really good. It actually developed on it for the investment. Yes, and his win percentage as a captain. Imagine Harry Maguire captain his team for three years. I could not win shit. No, but see, man, let, let's be honest. Harry Maguire should never be the captain. He shouldn't have, but all I'm saying is because we could, we could all see that he wasn't supposed to be the captain. Exactly. For me, a captain I can lead by example. What, what kind of example Harry setting as a captain? Making mistakes week in, week out. How can mm -hmm. Harry address a player? He cannot and he address nobody. By example. And that's why everyone there is in the shit too. He well, did. yeah, they make a good point as well. You're right. He did me by example. And that's why last year we had our lowest ever Premier League points tally. Because the man never seen the foolishness and said, oh, I don't want to know. All right, that's easy. You see me? You're the man. That was brother. So we are, all right. Yeah, go on, go on, go on, go on. No, that was a backward move from Manu giving her the captain. You know? Fox, that's how I was saying. You see my left another summer? Definitely. Yes, it's, 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 the red is on the wall. Like, even we play cup, cup, um, cup games and give Ari a chance. The mistake's still there. Like, nothing has changed. Yes, it's just yeah, yeah. Any club one thing can't take it, as, as far as I'm concerned. Well, like. If Newcastle really by Harry Maguire. <laughs> that, that's a, but Newcastle play a different style of football. They play more deep. So, I mean, but with all of the money more defensive. Have, brother, you have to buy Harry Maguire? That kind of makes no sense to you. So no place, no place, no place. But then again, you kind of understand. Maybe they're looking for a Premier League proven mm -hmm. centre back. You know what I mean? Um, 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 I mean, Ari, Ari is not a bad player if you play him at the right system. The systems that manual try to use the fit Ari. Ari want to play more high and high intense game. Ari cannot play high, kind of a speed. And he's a really game as well. He doesn't have a speed, yeah. he doesn't have a ball control. Exactly. Have a, like, there's nothing that we can say besides he's, because of him height, he's good in the air. He's good in the air. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? But that, that's honestly... Typical English defenders. Positive. Typical English exactly. defenders. Good in the air. Facts. The only good thing I can say about Harry Maguire is that. So, Harry Maguire, I can say Harry Maguire leaving in the summer, if I'm being honest. Yeah. What do you think about McTominay? Yeah, I think McTominay will leave. You think he's time up? I think so too. Marshall I cut thousand percent. Yeah, Marshall Marshall leave not because of talent, but because of in injury card. Like he can't have a player, he can't can find 20 games a season. That makes sense. Fox. Yeah. I'm not gonna be real with you, bro. I'm gonna know Darren might make some Darren Baller. I, I yeah. do have you know, Marshall is a bit of a baller. But even when he's fit, I don't think he produces as much as we want him to either. He's very hot and cold. Well, I'm kind of no, that can't that based on this season, I'm not talking about it. Yeah, Hot and cool, right about that. But and this season, based on performance that when he has played this season, he has been scored and then he gets injured. Yeah, so but he, he has no like, chance to kick on. True, true, very true. Very, and you know what? Yeah. I'm not going to judge him here heavily because he has not gotten the chance to play under yeah. ten hours. So, but yeah, really, is, yeah. everybody else has improved under ten hours, so he naturally would have improved too. So exactly. we, we probably would have seen more goals from him. Imagine if if, if Rashford and, and Martial they kick off under ten hours, brother. Come on, man. If, 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 if just Marshall stay fit, if Marshall stay fit, we'd have get at least nine more points that season. We'd have a title race. We'd have been, yeah, the, the Crystal Palace game, game and the Crystal Palace game and which other game is we give us? Arsenal game. Leave the Leeds game that we draw. Them games that without 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 win. Yeah, even Arsenal game we lose three two. I think we gonna lose that game. Exactly. The reason why I'm not gonna say Arsenal because I'm not gonna serve by us and rap. But I truth. No, I mean, I'm not even being biased. I'm being, I, it's just my opinion. You see me? <laughs> yeah, we put out a video yesterday. Say, I don't want Arsenal to win the league. I'm not Arsenal. Let me tell you, man. Based on the group. No, no, based on the group. I understand it. Or oh, oh, maybe you chat foolish, but I said, I don't want you to win the league. Based on the group, I know the man behaving in the group, but definitely want Arsenal to lose everything. I will tell you, man. I, I don't want to get them. nothing. I find them have become so defensive. You, you, you can tell that they're nervous in a brother like, because they, they're not accustomed to being on top of the league. 
So because exactly. of them, and them know deep down in them heart, them know that the manager is not that. And them know that them team has the potential to battle it. So you see, because of them so nervous, them so defensive. Trust me, the fans know. The fans know that this team, they don't fully trust them as yet. Mm. They know that. I agree. We're going to wrap it up now. So we yeah. have some last words for me. All I want to know for Cos Bruno Fernandes. <laughs> come on. Come on. Or, Manchester. Let, let the haters go and talk, man. Let, let the haters yeah. talk. Or we do the talking on the pitch. Two more stuff is loading. That's it. Fuck, bro. You yeah. know what I You know what I you know what I said? You see me? See there? Top four. Seven, I was still standing. Seven, I was still standing. Seven points above the box seat. Box seat there. Blip. We're not high. But this I can call it blip. You see, I know what I'm going to say. One, two, three, four, five, six, blip. Facts. Blip. I'm going to oh, stool really? up by a seven up. I call it a blip up. You see, give me a blip up. You see me? That was a blip. <laughs> seven. I'm going to try to look at seven. Let's make sure that I'm going to talk about it. Yeah, I don't go on do nothing. You see me? I don't want to venture on the other side because we don't talk about that yesterday. But you kind of still hurt still. So, you know? Big up on yourself. Bitch, yes. you want to put the words and tell them below what you have to do. No, man. Action up on the field, sir, man. Two more trophies and then we start with the All right, my brother. Let's see a word. Big up on yourself. Yeah, Please subscribe to the channel, like yeah, the man. video, share the thing. We are grow people. I'm not lying. I'm going to get about six or seven subscribers in the last week. I'm excited. I'm extremely excited about it. You see me? And the video them for yesterday, I met them rounds. One of them have 50 views, bro. You know, I'm going to get that. The other one at 40. Big up for the yeah, sell to the support. We're back. We're back. We're back. And, we're back. I'm big and better this time, man. We're, we're back. We're not, we're not dropping the thing this time. Man, I see. Yeah, I look man. up all if I live stream. What if I'm going to link me behind the scenes and tell me to say, oh, they want to contribute and they want to do some raid. So, I put this out there to if the item feel the need, if you want to, even if you're not a man, this is not a Manchester United platform. Let me make that. Yeah, it's right. not. It's a football platform. So, if you're an Arsenal fan, you're a Chelsea fan, you're a Liverpool fan, you're whatever, even if I don't agree with your stats, if you want, if you want a platform to come share your ideas, you want a platform to come express your views, hit me up. You see me? This is our platform. Dust Bowl is the place to do it, man. Dust yeah. Bowl. And the name of the channel, we change the name, is now Dust Bowl FC. The Dust Bowl ball game thing is too long, drawn out. So, Dust Bowl FC, you see me? It's appropriate, it's a football channel. So, big up on the cell. We're gone. Low Bruno Fernandez and load. Fox, two more trophies loaded. Two more, we're gone. You see me? Big up on the cell.